So the Ching Li and this other unnamed car both got left plugged in and their batteries are both toast. So inside the Ching Li, underneath the seat is where all the batteries is and it's really pretty hilarious because they have the batteries in the box they came in and they don't even take them out of the box. They just, that's how they are. It's strapped together and then they have this bar holding them in. But they're 45 amp hour, 12 volt batteries. A little bit hard to find direct re replacements, so we're going a little bit bigger. So I wanted to show you um, the batteries that I replaced them with from Amazon. I was able to fit some bigger batteries in there to get a little bit better range and maybe a tiny bit more low end power, but not really with the stock electronics. Okay, I'll show you what I did and there's links in the description to different batteries that you can use. One of them is a cheaper option and one of them will give you a little bit more range. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I fit some bigger batteries in here. The batteries are under the seat, in case you didn't know. These little latch things, pretty ghetto actually. And um, you kind of have to adjust the seat to get it to tilt back enough. So these are 55 amp hour, 12 volt SLA batteries. And what I did was just drilled a new hole for the battery hold down thing. I made my own battery leads. The stock ones, oh here's the stock ones. I wanted to leave them in here for you to see. The stock ones are like maybe 12 gauge wire. The, the main leads that go to the car are um, maybe they might be 10 gauge they don't see on them China doesn't actually use American wire gauge for their wires anyway um, but I'll link in the description if you want to make some big fatty leads like this you can make smaller ones I would use at least 10 gauge wire it's kind of it's really a bad idea that they use smaller wire to go in between you're really limited by the smallest wire gauge that you're using. These ones don't look like they're melted or anything, so maybe they're fine. But that kind of shows you how um, how wimpy the power system is in this car, stock at least. Um, but the cool thing is, I discovered that you can easily fit six of these big 55 amp hour um, volt SLA batteries in here but make sure you take like an angle grinder or something and cut off the um, self tapper screws that they use to hold on the shifter thing they just leave them sticking out in there it's not really a problem for the stock batteries but and also these screws were left long I would cut them off too because you don't want these ever sliding forward and puncturing them what I'd recommend is like putting some foam on top of this, just on top of this whole thing so that if these ever bounced up, well it'll, it'll keep them from bouncing around for one, but if they ever did bounce up you don't want them shorting out on this metal seat plate thing. But anyway, um, it works good. Um, these will give you a little bit more range than the stock ones. Stock ones are about 45 amp hour, these are 55. So hope that helps. Once again, I will link in the description. If you need these batteries, I'll also link to some 45 amp hour if you just want to kind of replace the stock ones and save a little bit of money. Thanks for watching. See ya.